Ladies and gentlemen, we survived. Last night was the coldest night of the year so far, and the coldest night of this extended cold snap. And I wasn't taking any chances. I went over the entire bathroom window with two layers of window kit plastic, in case the second pane in that window let go, much like the first one did in the extreme cold. And it didn't. Good. However, the plastic has showed me right now what has happened to this window and why this first pane let go, and this one specifically let go yesterday afternoon. Look at how caved in this plastic is. It's getting sucked in like nobody's business. I mean, what, this was flat when I put it on yesterday, and now, boom, sucked in like nothing. So that tells me that air really likes to go out of the house through this window, which would explain why when I took a shower with the bathroom door open to try and get some of that humidity into other parts of the house, to not have to run the humidifiers as much, it barely worked, because this is like the exit point for air trying to get out of the house. It's crazy. So you can imagine all of this pressure up against that probably thinner sheet of glass compared to the ones in the full-size windows with a super cold outdoor temperature and a wind chill to boot way below zero because the wind was whipping through this way when that happened yesterday afternoon. All of that added up, it just couldn't take it. Ay, 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 ay. Maybe we need to buy window panes from a Canadian company or something, I don't know. But it's just, of course, this weather has been very, very, very unusually cold for southern New England. We had like maybe one day of this grand total the entire rest of the time that I've been living here. Not like two weeks in a row of this garbage. I'll be very glad when it's all over. From what I'm hearing, there's a January thaw on the way. So I'm gonna leave the plastic up for now, fork out with the service guy, we can come over and get that swapped out. <sighs> Canada, when this is all over, you can keep this crap. Because last I checked, Connecticut does not is not part of Nunavut. Although they both end in ut. Whatever. Multimedia J out.